Hello, welcome back. We are discussing about a locat uh, locator identification technique in Selenium. And in the last video, we already discussed how to figure out using ID. And also, we, we come to know that not all the HTMLs are written according to spec so that it will have an ID. Okay, it's very likely that you may not have any ID. Okay, so in that case, is there any other way to figure it out? So let's take an example of this website. This website is just a very simple website where we have a login and password and if you look at this body then what, I'm, what we are seeing here is that we have uh, okay so so we have uh, input is equal to id is equal to u1 and type is equal to text and username but the second field which is password does not have any id however it just have only something called name is equal to password so then how do i identify this field which is the pass which is the second second input box so since we don't have an id but we we can use another technique and that technique is called by name okay so that is the te second technique that that, that we uh, that we mentioned there something called by name okay so using by name we can identify the second element so essentially what you are seeing here is that to identify this field what you can give you can just give name is equal to password okay the way you are giving in the to identify the first element you give id is equal to u1 uh, in the second case you are going to give name is equal to password okay so so basically you know so that is that is how that is what is the rule okay so first look for an id if you are looking if you already get an id then use that if you are not getting then look for an attribute and if you finding an attribute that is called name then use that so that means in this case okay to identify this field what i just need to do i need to just give name is equal to password and let's find so i'm i'm finding it okay so now let's take an another example in this third example okay i just modify that html page a little bit okay and i like to find out identify this password field to identify this password field let's inspect the html for our simplicity i put this html here we want to find out the password so first look at this basically if you inspect this tag so basically if you inspect this tag what you are seeing here you don't have an id so you cannot use id but you can use something called name is equal to username okay so since name is equal to username is there so let's let me basically use that okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to the selenium id and give name is equal to username okay and that's a find so i want to find the second field right but it looks like it's finding the first field so do you know what's the reason and let's take a look so name is equal to username is also seen in the first element as well so it might happen that both the user both the input field have the same name and this is what is exactly happening in this case and if that is the case then selenium is going to going to select or going to recognize the first one it meets in this case if i give name is equal to username it, it sees that name is equal to username in the very first element so therefore it is selecting that okay so how to solve this problem there are two ways to to work around this thing the first way is called by filtering so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to give some additional thing so name is equal to username that's fine also you see there is something called value is equal to abc therefore you give value is equal to abc okay if you give name is equal to username and value is equal to abc then it identifies this one only okay so this is called by filtering and second thing that we can we can do we can give name is equal to username so the name is equal to username is going to recognize these two things then what we do we add one more thing called index is equal to one okay it's so index start from zero so zero is the first one second one is index is equal to one the so why we have index mechanism because you may not have always the value here if we do not have value then you cannot able to make this kind of statement okay so let's do an example uh, let's try to demonstrate both 
So the first technique is name is equal to username and then I say value is equal to A B C. Okay, so if I do a find, then it's now recognizing. Else what I'm going to do, I'm going to give index is equal to one. Start from zero. So the second one will be one. So it is recognizing now. So this is how you are going to recognize using the name name technique. So let's take a look at your orbis.com. So in orbis.com, if I want to recognize, I just want to find out how to how what is the identification mechanism for this uh, you know text box. Do a right click, go to inspect element with Firebug, then you are seeing all this thing. So this is a tag. In this tag, do you find any ID? The answer is no. Do you find any name? Yes, there is a name called called hotel dot keyword dot key. Okay, so that means if you copy this thing, okay, and then you put it here, name is equal to hotel dot keyword dot key, and then do a find, then yes, you are finding this thing. Okay, so that means see how easy it is. First thing you have to see, like you know, just go through. Uh, basically you know whenever we're going to, going to do this thing so look at this locator identification technique find out ID if the ID is not there go for a name if you are not able to use name then we will talk about all other things you know in, in other videos so that you can identify the element pr properly